So in the previous video, I added a uh, image slideshow using Picasso web albums, and that's the way to do it if you don't have Google+. Google+, Plus again, is Google's uh, social networking platform similar to Facebook. So we're going to go ahead and set Emily Grace up with a Google Plus account. And I'm going to show you guys how to do an image slideshow if you are using Google+. Plus. So to set up Google+, Plus, we first log into our Gmail account. And if you notice, in the top left corner, there's plus you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it says, join Google Plus by creating your public profile. So Emily Rodriguez is here. Uh, put female. She's got her birthday. Now, here's uh, the, the difference here. This kind of indicates uh, why, why I'm doing two videos on how to insert a Google uh, slideshow or an image slideshow, rather. And this says, I understand the changes to Picasso Web Albums when I create a profile. So by checking this box and moving forward with creating this Google+, Plus, uh, my Picasso Web Albums is going to change and my photos will instead be hosted with Google+. Plus. The second checkbox says Google may use my account information to personalize plus ones on content and ads on non-Google websites. I do not want Google to use my personal account information, so I'm going to uncheck that box, and I recommend that you do as well. All right, moving forward, I'm going to choose the Upgrade button. And step two, according to my Google Plus setup, is to add people. Find people you know on Google Plus. By connecting a site, we can help you find people you know on Google Plus. I'm going to go ahead and skip this step. I can do it here, or I can come down here and skip. Google Plus is better with friends. You know what? I'm going to continue anyway. Um, it wants me to follow uh, different uh, people and businesses already on Google Plus. I'm going to click continue without choosing that. Yes, I know. I'm going to continue anyway. All right. The last thing it wants us to do is to put a picture of Emily Rodriguez. Now, for younger students, I do not recommend having profile pictures on Google+. Plus. Um, I'm going to leave this one blank. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Notice it also wants to know where you work, where did you go to school, where do you live. I'm going to leave all that blank and choose finish. Okay. Welcome to Google+. Plus. Um, let's see. I can do a feature tour to get started. Find friends or share with circles. I am going to continue to Google+, Plus without uh, doing the tour. All right. So Google suggests that I like Harry Potter, Forever Twilight, and The Hunger Games. I'm not going to view any of those. Um, but uh, just know that Google... Um, they will try to connect you with people, okay? Um, I'm more concerned about where my photos are. So I'm going to choose photos. And I'm going to choose albums. And there are my albums now. Yes. Okay. So same albums as whoops, here. Okay. Now let me just, out of curiosity, this is what I was doing in the previous video. Let me refresh this. And it automatically reroutes here. There you go. That's the difference. Okay. Um, share a link to an album, download an entire album, or organize an album's photo. Click more to discover more things you can do. Now, I want to show you guys how to use this. So I'm going to delete this album, and then I'm going to put it back. Um, but I do want to point out that it's visible to limited. It's, this is the same as limited. Anyone with a link can view. And instead of it being unlocked, I'm going to lock this album. And I'm going to choose Lock Album. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Okay. So, um, I'm sorry. Locking the album makes it view viewable to only me. So, I can't lock the album. I have to just leave it limited. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead and delete the album. So, more delete album. Okay, and I'm just doing this for example, so I just want you to watch at this point. And I'm going to upload new photos. And it wants me to name my album. So I'm going to do my digital 
portfolio slideshow, same name as I used to use. Okay, select photos from your computer. They are my computers again. Control plus A selects all of them. Control and A for all. Choose open. Give it just a second to upload. All right, and create album. And of course, it wants me to tag people's faces. Okay, um, I'm going to skip tagging. I don't want to add a comment. Uh, let's see, I'm going to click cancel. Okay, so when you put an album on, Google Plus is going to want to like post it on your uh, equivalent to like Facebook's timeline. And I don't want to do that. Um, so that's why I clicked um, cancel. So let's go into my album and here are the same pictures I just had. Now, even though this one looks bigger, it's no bigger than it, it used to be. It's just, this is how Google Plus displays the pictures. And instead of only you, so I have some options now. I can add circles, names, or email addresses. This allows me to share with specific people. So that's a good thing. So if you're on Google Plus and you're friends with like your family that, and you have a circle called family, then you can just share it with your family without everybody seeing it. Um, but we're going to do anyway. Um, we're not going to do that. We're going to share via link. Okay. So there is the link that we're going to use. And let me just see, lock this album locked albums prevent your circles from further sharing adding tags and mentions well we didn't add any circles to this so I think we should be okay um, I, I would prefer to have it locked but since I didn't add it to any circles I think that's why um, it originally switched back to only you when I first did it um, a, a minute or so ago so I, I'm fine leaving this unlocked because I'm only sharing it via the link okay now it says limited and unlocked OK, and I'm concerned to make sure this says limited so that when you put it in your slideshow uh, or I'm sorry, your Google site, it's going to work. So I'm done. Um, I'm not going to share. I'm going to go back to Google Sites right here. And this is from the previous example with the Picasso Web Albums. So I am now going to edit this page and delete it and put it in through Google+. And Google, guys, is constantly upgrading and changing things and ever improving. So it could be that, you know, Picasso Web Albums uh, goes away. And at some point, there's the option to insert Google Plus Album. Uh, but you're essentially doing the same thing. Um, it's just, they're just calling it two different things. So insert, still right now called Picasso Web Slideshow. And, and there they are, the pictures I wanted. Uh, notice you also have this option to upload photos. Um, you can add it to an existing album uh, and then choose my digital portfolio slideshow and then select a photo from your computer. So you can add it through the Google Sites interface um, in addition to doing it through the Google Plus or the Picasso Web Albums, albums pages. So I, I don't need to add anything, so I'm going to click cancel. And then let me go back in, insert Picasso Web Slideshow, click on it, choose select. Make sure my captions show, make it large, save, center, save. And I've got the exact same slideshow that I had um, previously, uh, just did it a slightly different way. And notice when I click here, the Picasso um, icon, and then choose album, it's going to reroute me to uh, Google Plus, okay, which is the new, the new Picasso web albums. All right. Uh, the next video, we're going to add video, actually. So um, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.